Tiramisu would have to be the most popular Italian dessert and there's a reason for that. It is utterly delicious. I'm going to share with you my best friend's recipe. This is Pedro's recipe. It is just perfect. So 200 grams of caster sugar. I'm going to split this between two bowls. So one bowl here, roughly, and then the other 100 grams in the other bowl. And some vanilla extract into one of the bowls, about a teaspoon. And now for the eggs, I'll need six eggs. I'm going to use my Sunny Queen free range eggs and we're going to break them. So I'll need two egg whites and I'll mix this with the caster sugar later on. But in this bowl with the vanilla and the sugar, I need six egg yolks. Okay, I have separated my eggs and we'll start with our egg yolks and sugar. We want to whisk this until it's really thick and pale. So you can see it looks like there's too much sugar, but the yolks will absorb it. So I'm going to whisk this until it's pale and thick and then I'll slowly incorporate this mascarpone. You want to add a little at a time and just fold it through gently so it doesn't split and it stays really thick. spatula, little by little, I'm adding this mascarpone, just gently folding it in and breaking it so it's completely incorporated. Now that we have a perfectly silky mixture, it's time to get onto the egg whites. I'm going to slowly rein in the caster sugar until we have stiff peaks, then I'll incorporate that into the mascarpone mixture. Okay, the egg whites are ready, so I'm going to incorporate that very gently into the mascarpone. Okay, our creamy mixture is ready, so it's time to dunk our saviati biscuits. You'll need 36 saviati biscuits for a 20 by 30 centimetre dish just like this one. So I've got coffee here, strong coffee. We'll carefully pour this into a bowl along with a coffee liqueur. I'm using some tea maria. You could use many different varieties and I like it to be strong. I want to taste that coffee liqueur. So a good amount of that in there. Now this is the fun part, assembling. So I'm going to add a small amount of this mixture into our baking dish and spread it out so it coats the bottom of the dish. That's going to be the base of our tiramisu. Perfect. And now we'll dunk our biscuits. So just really quickly dunk them before they go too soft and then start assembling. So we'll pop that in the corner, see how it fits perfectly. We'll add another bicky to our coffee mixture, take it out, drain, and then again, nestling it right next to each other. So they're standing proudly. So we're going to completely cover the base of this and then continue the process of building our tiramisu. Some more of the mascarpone mixture, some more coffee dunk biscuits, all the way to the top, then I'll place it in the fridge. You do want to leave this for at least four to five hours, even better, just leave it overnight. Tiramisu has set, so it's time to serve it. But before you serve it, it needs lots of chocolate dust. Look at that, cocoa powder over the top. 
Yum. I love my tiramisu. But this recipe, this one by far, is my favourite. It's a classic. And I'm going to take a nice, generous wedge out. Ooh, look at that. Can you see the layers there of the cream and that biscuit? And it's all sort of gelled together. All right, well, there's only one more thing to do, and that's to have a taste of this deliciously creamy tiramisu. Mmm, it is so good. It's that good. This one is also in my recent book, The Weeknight Cookbook. It's just delicious. You're going to love it. You are. <laughs>